tonight to um, look at more of my purchases got so much to show so much to talk about so shall we y'all know how i like to start the show mm, mm, mm. so y'all know i always started with my 
outfit if you are on the let me see if i can see your comments tonight can y'all go ahead and comment i'm glad y'all liking the uh the the intro song because i worked hard and long on that thing y'all know i was tripping over lines and sometimes i still mess up but i enjoy saying it and i'm glad that y'all like it sometimes i just be here by myself welcome to deal or dead deal or dead deal or dead then i'd be mocking ella reese because i cannot sing as beautifully as her because so then i gotta hit the deal or dead. You got, you got. Hey. hey okay hey. anyway y'all <laughs> do it one more time do it one more time do it one more time welcome to Deal or the hey. deal or the deal or deal or the hey. yes. okay anyway y'all uh. anyway 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 I'm excited to show you my things for tonight so shall we get started hey Tamara shall we get started with the outfit cuz y'all there's boo jank hey boo jank hey boo you looking all handsome I know, I know. You know how we do on Deal or Dud night. Y'all know me and Boo Jake, we go out. Every time I do Deal or Dud, he is always ready to take me out somewhere to treat me to somewhere. Because I be dressed up, I be looking fly. Sometimes I be dressed down, but not today, baby. Check the hat. Check. Let me let me let me go ahead. Give me give me my give me my show my outfit music, please. All right, y'all ready? Let me tilt this camera just a little bit. Okay. So y'all. Let me back it up. Let me back it up. Let me, let me, hey. let me back it up. So, I gotta back up way back for uh on this platform over here. So I hope I'm not sitting too far back for y'all. This outfit, hold on, I gotta dance for a minute. Check the hat, check the hat. Check the earrings, uh, uh, check the outfit. Did it pass the sleeve test? I gotta move this out the way so y'all can see the neckline. Loose ribbed turtleneck. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I gotta take my whole outfit off just to show you the neck part. This is the turtleneck part of it. Yes, as you can see, it is fitted, stretchy, but it is not slurpy tight. There's lots of stretch in this particular garment. It comes in a couple of colors, white, 
blue, yellow. I believe there's a black one. Is there a black one? I believe there's a black one that it comes in. It fits so nicely. I love this fit on me. I love that it comes out. Hey, Myra. It comes in black. It comes in black. It comes what in else? Green. It comes in green. It comes in Oh, like that fuchsia. fuchsia. Woo! I'm going to have to get that fuchsia one, y'all. Burgundy. Mm-hmm. Burgundy, and red, like a golden, a yellow. golden yellow. I'm gonna get the fuchsia one. I really, really like this outfit. The length of the top, I think, is very fitting. The cut of the pants, they are long. They are long. I'm about five, seven and a half. They go past my ankles, over the top of my shoes. Look at the sleeve, y'all know I love a good sleeve. Look at that thumb hole, y'all. Look at that. Bam. Somebody said, is it true to size? Bam. It is true to size. This is the large that I'm wearing, which is the size that I wear. <clears throat> a large fits me. Well, I'm, I'm working on, I'm working on getting down to a medium, but in the meantime, a large is where I am and I feel really good in this garment and I receive compliments when I wear it. Someone wants to know, are those pants high waist? Are these pants high waist? They sure are. Let me see if I can show them to you without showing my belly. Y'all see where my, I told y'all I'm suffering from a little bit of Dunlap disease where my belly done lapped over the top of my pants. So here go the top of the pants right here. Somebody said ISOT will read that. Mm -mm, I'm not drinking it. Mm -mm, no, thank you. No, no, thank you for the um, tea offer. I'm doing keto, okay? All right, so thank you on the tea, but no thank you on the tea right now. But it does come up high waisted right there without me showing my belly. Y'all know I don't do that. Show me, I'm not showing my belly on the live. No, mm -mm, I said no. Stop asking. But they are high waisted. So I can pull them up just a little teeny bit to kind of pop that air right there. Yes, yes, y'all, yes, ain't y'all here for it? love the color i love the cut i love the length i love the thumb hole and the other thumb hole now i will say on the thumb holes this was probably just a little sewing fluke right so the thumb hole this thumb hole i felt like it was a little bit smaller than this thumb hole then I, one day I looked at my thumbs and i think this thumb is a little bit bigger but then i looked at the size of the holes and this one was a little bit smaller, so I had to just snip a few threads in here to be comfortable for it to be comfortable around my thumb. But I love this look right here on this garment. Does it have so does it have pockets? No, there are no pockets on it. But I love this outfit. I'm gonna get that fuchsia one. I'm gonna get the fuchsia one. All right. So the rest of the breakdown. Thank you, Myra. Or um, I'm not sure if that's Myra. She giving us reserved seating at Jazz and Dinner to start for me in Invisible Boo Jay. What you think, Boo? He said, yeah, he's liking that idea. He's liking the idea of uh, reserved seating, Jazz and Dinner to start. Just please make sure we are properly social distance. I'm gonna get the fuchsia. I'm gonna get that. All right, I hope my internet connection is not going out. I see an indicator on my phone. Okay, so let's go ahead with the breakdown. These are uh, the gators. Mm -hmm. I showed these on my last live, you know, because we are practicing social distancing right now where we have to keep our face covered up, uh, wear a mask in most of the places that we go, which is for your safety as well as mine. And I appreciate your willingness to keep me safe in the midst of this pandemic that we're experiencing. So, boom. What I love about these gators, they came in a pack of five for $15.99. And I love that I can match it to my outfit. So it's not like your standard mask, which is generally that light blue and white, or maybe a black or something like that, that is always not so conducive to your outfit. And when it's not on your face, you can bam, put it right there around your neck. And what I like for this and this outfit the thing that I don't like about this outfit is the turtleneck is a little bit loose on me. Like, 
I wish that it just had just a little bit pinch more of, of hold around my neck, but I ain't got to worry about that if I put this on right here. Y'all see how it's matching my fingernail polish as well. Mm-hmm. So I got some color and some variety and a little bit of style, and I'm always prepared to go into a public place, just lift it up over my face, keep it moving. Yes. All right, so let's uh, go now to the hat. This is the fedora, y'all. Yes, it comes in a number of colors. Who I need to take my picture right now. Somebody screenshot this and send it to me. Did you get it? You get the picture? Let me do it again. Hold on, let me pause another one. Pa uh, pose another one. Did y'all get the picture? Send it to me. Go ahead, send, put it right on in the comments. One more time. All right, send me these pictures because I feel like I'm looking like. Boo Jake, what you think? <laughs> he said, I look so fly. He can't wait for the show over to go ahead and take me out somewhere. Yes. And I got a coat to wear. Y'all know I've been talking about the J. Crew coat. Got the J. Crew coat to go with the hat. The hat matched the shoes. Let, let me finish. Let me finish because we're going to the shoe next. I'm going to take the shoe off so y'all can see it up close. But first, the fedora. The fedora comes in a number of colors. I have this one. I also have the tan one. Um, now, when you get it, you kind of have to shape it to the shape that you... It wasn't really, really flat when I got it. So I've had to kind of maneuver it a little bit to get it to shape right. But honey, who ain't cute? Who? Who telling the fairy tale that I'm not cute up in this hat, up in this get up? What? What? What you, you, you was, you, were you talking to me? Oh, okay, because I thought you had said something. All right, and you know, sometimes you can wear the fedora like this. Bam! Y'all know this is the smooth criminal look. You've been hit by, you've been struck by, smooth criminal. All right. Y'all want to see my smooth criminal lane? Y'all know how I do it. I'm not going to do it tonight. I, I won't, yeah, I'm not going to do it tonight. Ready. I was ready. You was ready for the smooth criminal lane? I was ready lane? for the smooth criminal lane. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you are um, watching me on Amazon, could you please just do me a favor and go ahead and click that follow button because you don't want to miss a single deal or dud. Y'all already know over here on this camera, y'all already know how we get down. Next Thursday, y'all, I'm going to do a special show. You don't want to miss next Thursday, like for real, for real. You don't want to miss that show. Thank you so much, Amazon customer. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is the hat, y'all. Let's go ahead and break down the rest of what I am wearing tonight. The shoe. Let me show y'all this gorgeous patent leather stiletto that I am wearing that I absolutely love. It is comfortable. Hold on, can't get it off quite yet. Uh, uh. Oh, I gotta unlace it. You see that it laces up the front. Has a nice little stiletto heel on it. It's shiny. It is popping. Hold on, can't get it off. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right, so this is the shoe, y'all. Bam! What? What y'all gonna do? What y'all going to do? We already going to the jazz club. I like this shoe. It is a good fitting shoe to me. It looks good. Look at, look at my reflection. Can y'all see my reflection in the shoe? Mm -hmm. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. <laughs> I'm ready to buy me another pair. I got the pair in my hand. I'm ready to buy me another pair. All right, so this is the shoe that I'm wearing tonight. Now, if you anything like me, you don't like to wear shoes without having on a sock or something on your foot. We know that the leather interior or whatever material is inside, it starts sticking to your, your foot and all of that. And then your foot is sweaty and it causes friction. And so for this particular shoe or for your other heels and all of that, where it doesn't really call for a sock, I recommend, I got it on my foot right now, I'm not gonna pull it off, but I recommend the little half socks i call them it's really called a sock liner for your foot we got the it's you'll see it in the in the carousel if you will or in the links that we're putting up 
I recommend those for inside your heels, or if, even if you're wearing a pair of flats, it doesn't have to be heels. Um, sometimes y'all know the shoe would fits fine on your foot if you have on a pair of hose, stockings, what have you, but when you put a sock on it, maybe it's a little bit too thick. What I like about these Peds Women's Ultra Liner Sock Liners is that you can put it on your foot. It's only gonna cover up your toe and your heel, like just enough sock to keep your foot from sticking to the inside of your shoe. Y'all, if you're not on to that, you have to get some of those for inside of your heels, all right? And so just be, it just wraps right around your toe. It doesn't come all the way up your foot, so it's truly a no-show situation, all right? And I recommend those. Put my shoe back on just in case I got to stand back up, all right? Hold on. I told y'all I tried that foot peel. Um, y'all know those little foot peel things that you put your foot in a little bag and you keep it on for about an hour or two and then it's supposed to make all the dead skin peel off your foot um, in a couple of days. Well, I did that on Sunday. And so today is the first day that it's starting to peel and I wanna see what the result's gonna be. But right now, I can't show my foot to nobody. Y'all be done totally lost respect for me. Y'all be like, what in the world? No, sh did y'all see her feet? This how y'all be. Mm -hmm. Girl, did you see what her foot? <gasps> did you see what her foot look like? I cannot believe. Mm. I'm going to send her some money for a pedicure. That's what y'all would be saying. So I can't show my foot. I got to put my, my, let me just put this sock on right here. Okay, so that is the, uh, the socks that actually went inside my shoes to keep my foot from sticking to the inside of my shoe. Now, let me just go ahead and break down the rest of the top of this outfit. Pop the hat back like this, because you know, people wear fedoras like this too. I don't like this look right here on me. I just feel like all of this up here is expansive. I'm, I am gonna leave my feet on. They're not ashy, Carla. They just going through a little metamorphosis <laughs> right now. They just, they just doing some skin shedding. They're not ashy. They're not ashy, okay? I should take some pictures so I can show y'all how the product work, but mm-mm. Mm -mm. Y'all be done talked about me real, real bad. They have my foot pictures circulating all over the internet. I don't think I'm ready for that kind of popularity. Not off of my, my foot crust. No. No, that's not going to happen, Carla. Mm -mm. Okay, so you can't rock the fedora like this. Oh, to me, this look real country. Like I'm about to start singing and listen to a story about a man named Jed. Poor mountain there better kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food and up from the ground came bubbling crew. So I'd rather wear it like that. I look better like this. What y'all think? This or that? I like them both. You've been hit by pop pop. You've been struck by pop pop. Smooth criminal. Jed clamp it. <laughs> yeah, this look like. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. All right, so you can rock your fedora, whatever is comfortable for you. Um, I don't particularly like this look, but I'm going to keep it like this so y'all can see my earrings. So I have on some earrings on tonight. Tonight, you like the cockeyed look? Thank you, Carla. Yes. Yes, honey. That's it right there. I can't see y'all comments over here. Y'all know I always have a hard time with that. They say it rocked that smooth criminal vibe. Smooth criminal? All right. There we go. Smooth criminal is the winner. Anybody like this look? My son told me if I'm going to wear this look, I need some bundles. Mm -hmm. We're not, we not doing bundles. That's not what we do. That take away our whole look. That take away our whole look if, for me to put some bundles up. All right. So the earrings, y'all. These earrings, they are just some gold geometric earrings. Let me take this off for a second and put it over here. There are some gold geometric earrings. Hope y'all can still hear me. Um, they came in this set with 38 other pieces of jewelry. Okay, so in here there are several pieces, and this is fashion jewelry. This is not Jarrett's or K's or High. I forgot the Heist. It's not Heisman. That's a trophy. Y'all know the one that start with H or 
Zares or any of that. This is fashion jewelry and it's 38 pieces. So there is enough in here to outfit all of your fingers. Let me do this hand. There are some pearl looking studs. There's a couple of necklaces, a couple of bracelets, some rings, several earrings. All of these pieces came together in this lovely set. So that is the earrings that I am wearing tonight. A little something for every, every look. It even came with this little, this little, not little, where I get that from? From hanging around Jed Clampett. That's where I got it from. Little. Okay, so it even has some pieces for your hair. This little clampy clampy thing if you have much more hair than I do or maybe if you have only a little bit more hair than I do because y'all y'all know what I do right here Bam. <laughs> make it a pin stick it to my scarf your shirt make it some uh make it a fashion accessory like that yep. but not mm. right there but not right there uh -uh. Where should I put it? on my shirt it's how I'm gonna do that she about to make me look country for real <laughs> We're not doing that, okay? But if you got a whole lot of hair, you know, you y'all know what to do with this. You know what to do with hair stuff. I'm the one that that choose to rock this right here. It need to be brushed, okay? It has the hair pieces. Here's the other piece. This is for hair. This uh, extended bobby pin situation. It got some cowrie shell uh, jewelry necklaces and and the like. All kind of little goodies in this 38 piece jewelry set. All kind of little goodies that you can kind of, you know, dress up your outfit. It'll make the, the crooked place smooth and the plain place complicated, I guess. Dressed up. Won't make it so, so uh, dressed down. All right. So I haven't had an opportunity to go through all of these things and wear them and put them on. But if I wanted to, I certainly have enough pieces in here to pull off something. I want to put on this little ring right here because I think it's super cute. Can y'all see this one? I think this, this little spiral one. It has a necklace wrapped around it, so I can't even really get it out the bag real good. But I like these. They're very cute, I think. All right, so that is the jewelry that I'm rocking. These earrings came out of that set. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, so on to the next piece of the 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 Thursday night dress up. So y'all know I've been trying out eyelash. I gotta put my hat back on so I can feel as fly, look as fly as I feel. Y'all know I've been trying out lashes. I've been flying away for a couple of episodes now. Eyelashes are generally not my thing, but I promised you all that I was going to try out a few pair. So, tonight I am rocking the Tory Bell. On a previous show, Ella Reese will be singing the background. Go on, hit it one time. Yeah, all of that. She came on and she told you about the Tory. I'm pointing to my ears. She told you about the Tory Bell lashes and how she liked them. They are magnetic lashes. And so I want to try out a pair of the Tory Bell magnetic lashes. It came in this little case like this with the magnitude magnetic eyeliner now i told you i had some concerns about something metallic being near my eye but I'm, i want to try it anyway be fair to the lashes since i was trying them out so i got them in today here is what the liner looks like and here's what the the boxes that the lashes came in okay so they were really easy to use easier than the um the previous brand that i tried you just take this and you you know I let me show you the the thickness of the the wand right so it's super thin the wand is super thin 
is like this. And for me, it's, it's very wet. It's like a liquid eyeliner, very wet liquid eyeliner. And so for me, I have control issues. So when I'm going over my eye, you know, my hand doing this right there, and it's look like I'm trying to write in cursive on my, on my eye line. On this one, for some reason, I can go a lot more smoothly. But the directions are you put on a coat, and then you let it dry, and then you put on a coat, quote, a quote, mm -hmm. a coat, and then you let it dry, and then you take the lash, and you just pop it on there, and the, the lash has magnets on it. Let me see. Do I want, if I take my lash off, I'm not going to be able to get it on, and then I'm going to be looking crazy for the rest of the show. Do y'all want me to be looking crazy for the rest of the show? I don't think y'all do. I don't think y'all want that. All right, y'all already had me looking like a hillbilly. My feet already down here peeling. <laughs> and then I'm going to have one <laughs> lash go. <laughs> Good night, Karen. Thank you for uh, popping on. I, I can't take my lash off, have my feet peeling because of the feet thing. And got a little bit of Dunlap disease going on. And... <laughs> And looking like I'm from the Beverly Hill Billies. Okay, so anyway, you just pop the lashes on, and then they the magnet, the magnets on the lashes, uh, click to the magnet eyeliner situation. Okay, so this is what they look like on me. One thing that I'm struggling with, this is my first time putting them on. Although I've seen Ella, Ella Reese wear them many, many times and they look great on her. This was the ones that she recommended for me because I did not want the super long touch of my eyelashes, touch my eyebrows when I went like this. I didn't want that look. I like something that's more natural to my own lashes. My lashes are very thin and they are short. Okay, so I wanted something that just enhanced that just a little bit, not make me look super glamorous. So she recommended the boardroom for me, and I do like the look. It To me, it looks more natural. Um, they were super easy to put on, and what I liked about them is if I misplaced it or I needed to adjust it again, it was easy to take, take off and then just put back on. There was no pain involved or anything like that. The only thing that I did notice, and this is just my skill level, I can see on this one right here, it's just a little teeny bit lifted up on the edge right there on that little tiny corner. I'm not sure how to resolve that yet. I think I have to practice with it. And, you know, I'll ask Ellery's how to how to make it you know, do what it's supposed to do. But I do like the product. I do like the product. Um, I like the look of it. It's not as dramatic. I, I, it's not as um, frustrating if I misplace it. You know, I can just take it off and replace it and they are not super thick. I don't like the super thick look because I don't have super thick lashes. If I had super thick lashes, then it probably would not be a deal. But to me, this looks a lot more natural. Um, almost. I don't know. Can you tell I'm wearing lashes? Would you think I was wearing lashes if you saw me walking down the street with me and Boo Jank? And he, you know, got his, um, got my hand around his arm. You know, we doing the, the couple's walk. Or he got his hand around my waist and we walking. And you say, dang, look, hold on, hold on. Then you say, dang, look at that woman right there. I don't know who that is, but oh my God, she looks so fly. She was rocking a fedora and a gator. She was social distancing. She, bam, bam. Okay, I don't think they, they, they look too bad. They don't look too fake. So this is a deal for me. So far, everything that I've shown has been a deal. The outfit, deal. The gator, deal. The shoes, deal. The socks, deal. The, 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 the jewelry, deal. The lashes, deal. Everything has been a deal. Thank you, Myra. Thank you, Laquita. Okay, Myra said, don't take them, don't take them eyelashes off on this camera. Don't you do that. All right, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I was just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not gonna do it i was just thinking about it 
All right, Cleo, thank you so much about the makeup because I'm geared, y'all know I've been practicing with my makeup. I know I'm like, ought to have it down pat by now, but I have been practicing with my makeup. So I have this um, eyeshadow palette. This is the Pure Festival eyeshadow palette. And I'm, I'm really not a, a super made up person, but I put on some color tonight, y'all see it. Y'all see it, y'all see that color on me. Hold on, let me see if that's gonna help. Mm, I don't know, let me put that back. All right. So, I when I was on Facebook the other day, I got a notification that this young lady was on. I don't know who the young lady is, but some kind of way we are connected. And she was putting on some eyeshadow, and she was saying her opening line was, Hey, Queen, hey. And so she was saying, Hey, Queen, hey, as people were coming on. And she just had a brush and her eyeliner, and she was just kind of brushing it on from the top of her eyebrow. And she said, We're going into whatever color she was using i don't remember what color she was using i'm just gonna use some say some of these colors we're gonna we are in right now we are in free spirit and i was watching how she was putting it on and she said we're gonna go from free spirit to epic and then she went on to the next color and then she said we're gonna go from the epic we're gonna get into the gypsy and she put those three colors on and i was like oh that's all you gotta do and so i grabbed this this pure festival eyeliner um, palette and said let me try it and so i just took the little brush that kind of looked like hers and i said okay we gonna go into the we gonna go into the epic and i did some of that up there like i knew what i was doing trying to you know do what i saw her do um and then i went into the free spirit i think and i put some on and then i went into the something else the gypsy and the wild child and i put some of this on it's no blue in this particular palette in this particular palette here are the colors so there's there is free spirit free spirit that's psychedelic that is good vibes and good vibes is normally what i wear like on all my other previous shows i tend to stick with these three the peach, um, I'm sorry, the peace, the good vibes, and the psychedelic. Like I tend to stick up here in these kind of brownish neutral tones with a little bit of metallic. I don't fool around down here too much, but I thought I'd take a little chance. So tonight I did some epic and some gypsy and some wild child. I don't know where I'm going for to put the gold glitter on my, on my lash. I don't think I've touched that, but just a hair. And then down here is fireworks. I don't know where I'm going for fireworks. Or instead, sunset, hidden desert, and all night. I do like this brown, this smoky brown color. Um, but, you know, I'm just not skilled enough to really know how to, how to mesh this and work this. But I was glad that i had seen just a couple minutes of her tutorial so i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm try to you know bring y'all a little bit more glam while i am on the cam see how i be just flowing with my bars and glam bars. on the cam bars. bam see glam on the cam bam yeah, so if you know what to do with this kind of product or you like these colors and all of that i have provided the link for you just and you can get this pressed powder eyeshadow and it does come with the little mirror and it says treat every day like a festival which you really should which you really should treat every day like a festival you know what they say every day is a gift that's why they call it the present and we really should be taking that to heart i don't heard about i don't know maybe about five people this week who have left this realm and so we really should be um we really should be celebrating. Thing over here, we really should be celebrating every moment of life that we get, like every single piece of it. You know how they say, live until you die? I wanna live until I die. I have a whole new perspective on that. You know, I don't wanna waste any time. I wanna live, live, live until I'm gone from here. All right, enough of that, enough of that. Moving on to our, sometimes we gotta go outside the box. You did it and it looks good on you. Thank you, girl. Thank you, thank you, mm, thank you. 
y'all can't compliment me too too much because my head to get this big then i can't fit down my hallway y'all know i gotta go walking later on i need to be able to fit my big head through the door so just give me a little bit of compliments all right so next y'all i finally 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 sprung for the apple air pods finally I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but I finally did it. So one of the reasons why I put it off for so long is because I like to lose stuff. I just, I'm just not good with keeping up with the little things like this, you know. I have it, don't know what I did with it five minutes later. I have told you I am the undefeated queen of put down don't have a clue what happened to it all right but i did go ahead and spring for these because i want to bring y'all great video quality and i understand when i back up and go way back there well, all the way to the backyard to show you my outfit sometimes you cannot hear me or when my co-host is here and he's talking we're talking together he sound like he's somewhere across the water and so to make sure that you can hear me clearly, which I hope you can. Can y'all tell me if y'all can hear me? Um, whether I back up, if I run around the house, take a lap around the, around the room, go back there to the to the pillows and stuff back there, I wanna be able to make sure that you hear me. So I bought these and here's, here's the restriction that I put on myself. I can't, I can't go, no, they can't leave the desk. They are not allowed. To leave the desk they must stay at the desk i cannot go walking with them they cannot go on my purse they cannot go on my car the sound quality is fantastic all right they are the sound quality is fantastic and i already told you i'm already an apple girl i got the phone i've had i've had the phone for a while the phone the watch the ipod the ipad the air macbook air the big macbook and something else that i'm forgetting about i said the watch like all of their products i have and so i guess it was just a matter of time for me to throw in the apple ipods and now i i feel like i know what the hype was about before i was like i'm not getting that for me to make a mistake and lose them put them somewhere put them down etc 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 and then i don't know where they are but I, my hack for myself they're going to stay on the desk i am not allowed to take them out of the room all right and they work great i don't have this one in i don't want both of them in because y'all got to see my earrings okay so next item so this is a sponsored item that was sent to me by a seller um, and it is this beautiful, beautiful scenery knife set. So I'm going to open it up right here on camera with you. It has ergonomic design, super sharp, non-stick coating, gift choice. And you see that they are colorful. This looks like a nature kind of product. I can't see all the pictures. That, of course, this looks like trees. And so does that. Y'all can see it. That's snow and stuff like that. But it is a six-piece knife set. Um, at the time of this live, there is a coupon on it for 45% off. So, bam, if you need a set of knives, you want to get somebody a gift, your boo jank is a, is a chef, and they love the great outdoors, maybe this is a great and uh, not-so-novel valentine's day gift for your boo your your male boo or your female boo whoever like to do the cooking i love the colors of it okay so let me open it up for you one oh they are pretty hmm? yes they are pretty queen yes they are okay so look y'all oh my gosh these are so gorgeous those Sometimes stuff are, are gorgeous. You only want to cut you with them. You can't use it. That's the good. That's the good stuff. That's the, go yeah. in the uh, pantry with the china ware. That's the company knives. You get this when the when the good people coming over. Don't listen. Don't go in the white room. Don't nobody go in there. Don't y'all do that. Y'all know how when y'all was growing. Let me just. 
this won't this was not my house now. In my house, we could go in the living room. Our living room was a living room. But then when I had started dating my boyfriend, who I later married and had children by, his family, his parents, and his grandparents, they had a don't nobody go in the living room rule. Okay? Don't nobody go in the living room because that was for company. That wasn't for everyday living. Okay, so can you go get this for me, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one, as you can see, it has the little purple fields of flowers on it. I'm not even sure. Okay, here go, here go my upbringing, y'all, and I have shared this before. We didn't, I don't remember having a good knife set when I was being raised or when I was raising my children. You just get whatever knife is in the drawer and, and get the cutting, right? You trying to cut turkey with a with a with the whatever with the steak knife with the regular steak knife you in there trying to shave the turkey or you got a butter knife to cut i don't know y'all know what i'm talking about we ain't have a knife for everything we just did it okay this one has this lovely purple mm -hmm. it's non-stick coating the picture and the image on it is gorgeous these are 45 percent off at the time of this recording this one y'all this one is the pink one it has a picture of a tree on it i'm sorry y'all catching the reflection of the ring light picture of a tree and then it's pink flowers y'all see it isn't it gorgeous yes the little pink on the handle right there this here is um it feels like silicone like it's a rubber grip like it's not gonna go nowhere I don't know what, what this knife is for. What is this one for? I have to read the back. I need to go to knife school to figure out which knife knife you're supposed to use for what. Because even like today, I don't, um, when I go to cut stuff, it don't matter to me. I'm going to pick up the first knife I see to cut this orange in half. It can be this one. It can be this one. It don't matter. Not to me because I don't know what I'm doing. When you don't know what you're doing, you do everything wrong. When you know better, you do better. To me, if I need for my orange to be cut. I need for this avocado to be cut in half. Whatever knife is closest to my hand, that's the one I'm going to use. This one right here, look at this beautiful green. Mm -hmm. All of them have this little safety tip on it while it's in the box. Okay, that's... Oh, 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 you can oh, 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 oh. It is sharp, y'all. Ooh, I can't look at it. It's sharp. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I just cut myself. Oh, my it's not a bad cut. It's not a bad cut. A napkin right here. Oh, they sharp. They sharp. <laughs> this feel like a paper cut. Anyway, I'm gonna just point to it. Little safety thing. Y'all know that it's sharp. Okay, it's sharp. Now I won't try to cut myself. Okay, the purple is the bread knife. Oh, um, but be bright. My bread come already sliced. What's the pink one for? This one is not for cutting your finger, but it will cut your finger. It will give you a little sh -sh -sh if you're not careful. All right, but it is very, very pretty. Mm-hmm. Let me be more careful. All right, this one, the image is brown leaves. These knives are gorgeous. And that's a, um, a fuchsia color on the handle, fuchsia and gray. Y'all. Boo Jack. He kissing my thumb, y'all. Thank you. Can you get me a band aid? Thank you. All right, it feel better. He kissed it. Invisible. He be on his job. He going to get me a band aid and stuff. And he, I get to have extra ice cream for cutting my thumb and stuff. gorgeous it's beautiful it's this pink color again this set is 45 percent off I'm scared to use my finger now I'm scared to use my scared to scared to touch them next is this orange one and it looks like a field of dandelions or something i don't know what the picture is but this one is this is what kind of knife is this this a carving knife 
for three blind mice. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. Yeah, don't let the funery fool the scenery fool you. They will cut you up. Boo Jack was having a hard time finding it. So oh, help him out. Okay, Boo Jack couldn't find. Thank you, Ella. He and he don't live here, so he didn't know where we keep the band aids. He he didn't know where to go look. Thank you so much. Un momento, por favor. Let me get this band aid wrapped around my thumb, cause. Y'all seen it happen live TV. Woo! Woo, child. Mm -hmm. Somebody say you better take care of you or you might cut him. Uh, no, mm -hmm. I'm not going to cut Boo Jang. He don't <laughs> deserve that. He is going to take care of me, though. Ain't you, Boo? Mm -hmm. He was just having a, a hard time in the linen closet. He don't know where I keep stuff. He was all in the medicine cabinet. We keep it in the linen closet. All right, un momento, un momento, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. See, that's why you got to be careful with nature. You walking up on poison ivy, rattlesnakes, knives with pretty scenic uh, nature scenery and cut you right on open. You out there fooling with stuff. Okay. All right, so this is the orange, orange one. And then this looks like a paring knife to me. And it is a snow scene for the paring knife. Again, light blue handle and gray, light blue and gray handle. These are really pretty. They're 45% off at the time of this recording. Go ahead and grab you some. If you need a nice little knife set, it comes in this beautiful case. All the scenery is on the back right there. Yes. If your boo know how to cook, or maybe you cook for him. Look, y'all, look what it say. Y'all see that? Razor sharp. It won't lie. It won't lie. Razor sharp. That thing knit me nice and cute and pretty. All right. Six kinds of scenery. Six kinds of moods. Blue. Deep and remote. Suitable for use in summer. Very cool. Summer. Suppose it's hot and you need to peel. All right. I mean, suppose it's cold and you need to peel your apple. Orange. Mature and steady. Suitable for cutting fruit. And butter, precise cutting. Red, hot as fire, suitable for cutting meat products, perfect color matching. Pink, gentle as water, suitable for cutting seafood and fish, necessary for barbecue. Purple, mysterious and beautiful, suitable for cutting bread, cheese, baker's favorite. Green, that's the one that cut me. Environmental protection and health, suitable for cutting vegetables, kitchen, necessary tools. All in all, our landscape knife embodies the ultimate beauty and strong practic practical practicability. Practicabil I know how to read. Y'all ever heard of that word, practicability? I've heard of practicality, but this says practicability. The er ergonomic handle, super tough stainless steel blade, and beautiful non-stick coating make it the best choice for holiday gifts. So art comes from the life. Art comes from the life. All right, so I think this is a beautiful, beautiful set. Um, it's pretty to look at, and it does cut. It will do that. All right, on to our next item. Um, this is the four set of the rose gold wine mug. So I just have one. You don't need to see all four of them. They do come with the four straws. This is a nice cup right here. These are really nice. You hear the you hear the sound, the stainless steel sound. This is one of my favorite mugs. I normally drink my coffee out of one of these because it's insulated. So it keeps my coffee warm while I am drinking it. This is a set of four of these. Now I'm not a big wine drinker. I drink a couple of ounces of um, Moscato Diasti. Like, I'm, my wine got to taste like Kool-Aid, to be honest with you. That's why I don't really drink, because I just be wanting something sweet. I don't really want that alcoholic taste. That's just not for me, okay? But I do like these wine mugs, and what I found is they fit very comfortably in my car in the cup holder. It fits in there perfectly, so my cup is not all uh, shaky and all of that. It holds about... 12 ounces i think i don't remember is it 12 mm -hmm. 12 ounce cup that's perfect for coffee on the go if i'm sitting at my desk it's the perfect size for my desk it does have the top on it so to make it you know less 
lessen the ability for it to spill okay of course it's not totally spill proof because it has the hole right there but it does come with four straws so that lets you know right there you can drink other stuff out of it because who sipped wine out of a straw maybe maybe if you just y'all know that's not how people drink i don't see people on tv when they be drinking wine i don't see them sipping out no straw they do like that I'm sorry. What did you say to me? That's how they do. They don't be like this. But it does come with a set of straws as well. So this is a great, I love these. I love these. I have um, a couple of these already. I have this set and then I do have some other ones and a couple of other colors which I'll show on another show. All right. And then finally, I told y'all that I am Okay, so Adesha said she used them during baseball season pre-COVID. They're perfect for coffee. Like, really, I really do like these. Good size for your hand. It is insulated, so, of course, you can hold on to it. You ever got a coffee cup from wherever, and it, if it doesn't have a sleeve on it, you can't hardly hold the cup. I was doing that yesterday with a cup that I had because I didn't use this, and I couldn't hardly pick my cup up. The cup was too hot. I couldn't enjoy myself. They drink wine with a straw. No, they don't. I don't know what show she be watching where they drink wine with a straw. <laughs> you ain't never seen nobody drinking wine like Kool-Aid. Like a little kid drinking out of sippy. If you have, get some new friends. Get some, get some new friends. You're supposed to be like this. Hold on. What's the dude name? Frank. What's his name? Frederick. Frederick. This one just came out the kitchen sink, so this smell like it been in uh, soap and bleach water. That's how I wash my dishes. Don't give me the speech about how you're not supposed to put bleach in your water. That's, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Yes, I smell the rich aroma of whatever they be smelling. Oh, it is very dry, or it is very, I don't know. Y'all know. Just give me a little bit of Moscato Diosti that kind of come in the blue bottle. Yeah, that one. All right. And finally, y'all know that I am on the 75 hard challenge. And this product right here, I talk about them on every show. The Goldie Gummies, they really, 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 really help me to stay focus on what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm doing intermittent fasting. Um, so I, again, I generally do not eat until after 12 o'clock, but this gives me what I need in the mornings. I just take a couple of, you can take up to six a day, the label says. I take a couple of these in the morning, take a couple in the afternoon, then I take a couple in the evening and I'm good for the day. I have eaten today. Normally I have, don't even have, I would not have even eaten yet, but I have eaten today. I had a salad and that's been plenty for me along with these goalie gummies i'm going to continue to take them um y'all know i'm going to go out here and get my walk on in a little bit and do the other pieces of the 75 heart challenge but i do love these they're the apple cider vinegar gummies and they do help for me they curb my appetite they provide um they have beet juice pomegranate b6 um some other nutrients you can look it up you can you know read the description and all that to get all the health benefits and as i always say i am not a doctor i cannot give you medical advice i will tell you that this product is gluten-free vegan non-gmo organic and unfiltered however i am not a doctor i do not know how it will affect you so make sure that you do a good job in taking care of yourself you only got one you you only got one you to love on and take good care of and pamper and all of that. Try not to cut your fingers and, you know, and, and live in a way that your body is going to decline more rapidly than it naturally would. Take good care of yourself. Mama wants to know, can you show what they look like? Show the gummies? Show what the gummies look like? I sure can. So, hold on. Sleeve shed. Hold on sure so this is what the gummy looks like right here 
it is super yummy y'all when i tell you this is delicious is if i had to compare it to something i would say like a fruit snack it's not like a gummy bear like gummy bears are are real chewy kind of this is not chewy it's more like a fruit snack a really good fruit snack okay the flavor is a a berry kind of flavor apple -y kind of berry flavor they're really really good i gotta eat this one now touched it can't put it back in the jar Yo. Oh, momento, por favor. Can I have one? See, now Ella wants some. <laughs> you can't open these up, brown people. Of course, here you can take Thank it. Thank you ever so kindly. If you don't, if, if, if you don't want nobody eating your goalie gummies, you gotta hide them. You're welcome, Amazon customer. Several reviews said they are slimy and discolored on the reviews. That has not been that has not been my experience. I don't find them to be slimy. Um, to me, discolored would be a relative word. Discolored in comparison to what? I'm not sure. I can only say good things about this product. And y'all know, if something was a dud, I would tell you. I would tell you this is a dud. This doesn't work for me. And I would tell you why it did not work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you doesn't mean that it won't do all that you thought it would do i love the product they're not red like the bottle i will say that but i don't know if it's discolored in comparison to what what are they comparing it to all right but i will tell you that i enjoy the product um, of course, you're welcome to read the reviews on the product and make the decision on your own this is a count of 60 and the label says you can take up to six a day, two at two uh, gummies, three times a day. They're delicious, first of all. Like, I know that they um, have nutritional value, but before all of that, they are delicious, okay? And I do candy think that they adults. are, I'm sorry? Candy for adults. Candy for adults. I do think that they are um, really helping me along my journey so i'm going to continue to take them i have several bottles around the house um as different loved ones have come over here uh gummy bought from target and then the ones bought from amazon i thought it was strange i i don't know uh and maybe i just have not compared all of all of my it's not like i open up the bottle and let me look in this bottle and compare it and let me look in this bottle and compare it, see if they're the same color but you know follow your heart follow what you know is good for you your body and your budget for me they are super delicious i love them and i do think that they provide nutrition i like them i'm gonna keep taking them it's a bottle back there y'all see it right there on the shelf yeah it's some upstairs in my closet room. It's some around the corner in my dining room. I keep these over here at the desk. Because you never know when hunger going to sneak up on you. And then I was talking to some one of my friends who I, I had introduced to um, the goalie gummy. And he said he did notice that he was eating a little bit less. And when he got in a place where he was maybe getting a little bit hungry, but he um, could not eat right away, he said he would eat one or two of those and he was good. It would carry him over to the other, um, you know, the other side of the hunger until he could get in, get in front of some food. So I do like them. Hey, Dre. Dre is uh, commenting. Y'all, Dre is my co-host, and he, um, if you didn't know, he and his family had to beat down the COVID monster, and they have come through with positive results, so we are very, very grateful for that, which brings me back to what I was saying. Take good care of yourself, okay? Take good care of yourself. Take precaution. Don't be out here living all willy-nilly and not giving any concern to what's going on with the one body that you get cutting your thumbs all up and all of that all right where's my outro music because i don't have any other products to show you but i certainly appreciate you tuning in to this episode of deal or dud i hope you i forgot to tell y'all this about the hat it's a little string in there right there you see the little string that's to help you to adjust it to sort of fit your head okay i appreciate y'all tuning in to this episode of deal or dud Please remember to follow the show if you're watching on Amazon. 
please remember to share if you're looking on other platforms, watching on other platforms. And I certainly, certainly appreciate your engagement. You're laughing with me. Let me share with you about what's going on with my foot situation. Yo, if I, if I peel all the skin off my foot and my foot look like a brand new baby foot, you know I'm going to show that product. And if my foot be looking like it look right now for several days, I'm going to show the product and I'm going to tell you that it did not work for me. Might work for you. Didn't work for me. We're going to see because this was this is the first uh, this is the first peel day. I'm going to see. But right now, mm -mm. y'all be like, please go take care of that. All right. Thank you so much, so much, so much for watching. Have a good evening. Um, have a good weekend. I will see you on Sunday on the next edition of Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. All right. Have a good night.